morning it's a random weekday just before the 4th of July I got north wind which I love so I'm gonna take it out to uh, Block Island do some friendly fishing and if we're lucky we can go around the whole island if the wind changes to the southwest but there's that hour in between where there might not be much wind at all so let's do it I hate when people are watching me film. Weird. Alright, let's get out there. Always like to check out the fish trap as I go by. See if there's anything interesting in there. I don't see anything this morning. Surprised the guy's not here emptying it. He usually comes every day in the morning. So. It's beautiful out here. There's some gentle rollers, as you might be able to see on the video. And I'm flying 30 miles an hour out there. Way out there. Out here at Bungie Lighthouse. I gotta get a picture of a surfer on a wave with a lighthouse. I can't help myself. Look at that beautiful catch. Woohoo! All sales going, I love it. Well, <laughs> it went from one of the best rides out to Black Island to one of the most uncomfortable in a blink of an eye. The wind's out of the west now, and the tide, wind hitting tide is chop. Very uncomfortable chop. But I can see my destination. So another 15 minutes of this or so. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's a plane or a helicopter really low over there. I'll try to zoom in with the computer. I guess it's a plane. Probably only 50 feet off the deck. So this uh, got really sloppy, then it calmed down for a little while, now it's sloppy again. But the wind does feel like it's more northwest out here. Quite a few fishermen over there. Buzzing around a little bit. I haven't seen any uh, stripers down there. Oh. Maybe I'll catch some more blues. Wowza, look at that. <laughs> That's like something I've never seen. The sea monster down there. But it does seem like they're not uh, breaking on the surface anymore. That I can see anyway. Tons of bait fish around. We're gonna cast a few more. The wind does seem like it's laying down a little bit. We might get a little, might be able to go around the island here. A little tour. Got some other striper fishing places. I've started to remember that I don't really have great luck usually after um, storms. We had some storms last night that came rolling through. So that could be why I'm not marking any stripers over in the rip area. Can you hear these fish? It's like... It's really cool. I don't know if you can hear it. Because of the wind. Alright, I see some uh, fish hitting the surface here. right in the middle of them. They probably, well, they could be blues. It could be bass, but. Right where those seagulls are. These seagulls are 
smart, they get out of the way. Oh! Oh, look at them following it. Yeah! That's cool. Draper fishing. I got a buddy that eats these, so I'll probably keep this. Okay, it's a good size blue. Hasn't even seen the boat. Come on, buddy. Now we saw the boat. <laughs> Size blue. Let's see, I got a pro new. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're all over the place here. I love it. You're in, uh, once you're in the lee of Lock Island, like that, um, sandbar goes all the way out to BI1, which is way out there. You almost feel like you're in daddy's arms over here when you're in a small boat. <laughs> it's nice. All right, bluefish, stay focused. Whoa. I love watching him chase it. bait fish up over here. The little ripples on the water. Wow. Shit ton of bait fish right here. Leaves are having a nice brunch this morning. Gotta be some blues here. See if I can get an underwater shot of these fish. Let's try. All these bait fish. 
Can you see that the water is brown right there? That's all these bait fish. Yeah, they swim away when they see the boat. Don't swim away. Okay, this is the north side of the island. The north lighthouse and stuff. We're gonna go around the west side of the island. It's where the southwest ledge is. There could be some stripers up there. And then we'll go all the way around the back side, the south side. Come back on the uh, east side. Let's go. It looks like my seal friends are back. Probably take a few pictures with the telephoto lens. There's the North Light. And I just noticed a whole bunch of sailboats coming out of New Harbor. Might be seeing a sailing race. Sure looks that way. Look how beautiful this landscape is here. Ooh. More sailboats coming out of New Harbor. That's New Harbor right there, and there's the entrance to it with a little breakwater on the west side of the island. I'm gonna see if I can catch some sailboat racing. But they're just coming out of the harbor now, so it could be a while before they start racing. I got my radio scanning. They were just saying that the next race is going to be at 10.45. They're going to try to squeeze in a race before the southwest wind picks up. Bef at noon time is what they said. So that's like an hour from now. I guess I could go fish this striper spot that's up here in the southwest corner of the island for a little bit and wait them out. Let's try that. I think that's a small gunboat right there. That's my favorite sailboat, that catamaran. That would be a dream come true. spot there. Look at these places. Beautiful. Looking west. So cool. Must have amazing sunsets. Gonna go out to those red cans. Fish in between them. I don't know if you can see this one. Right there. And one right there. More birds working in there in the waves. More bluefish, or did the stripers come over here to get away from the bluefish? Hmm. Let me go in there and cast a few. This is the southwest corner of Black Island here. You can actually see the uh, windmills right there. And I'm just trolling between these two red cans. Just put the line out. 
marking a few things down there. I don't know what they are, but definitely caught some big stripers right here in years past. But we'll see. Ooh, there's something. What's that? Mm. Doesn't even look like anybody's out at the Southwest Ledge, even a charter boat. Weird. I guess it's that storm thing I was talking about before. You can see Mon talking the distance way there, right in the middle of the screen. It's not that far away. All right, so I gave up on the fishing. I marked a few, but none bit my lure. So they're done with breakfast. I'm in this middle of all these sailboats. There's millions of them out here. Well, millions might be a slight exaggeration. But I bet there's 150. That looks like a sled. Four, clear. I just started one of these races. Six four three two is clear. Break. Four two three five. Four, five, six, five. That was the start of another race just then. Four, three, two, one. J one eleven. J one elevens. Those are. Ten. Five zero eight. Five thirteen. Bow 12, break. Bow 10, bow 1, 2, bow 1, 3, you're over the line early, break. Bow 8, bow 12, bow 10, break. Bow 13 is clear. Okay, bow 12 is clear, bow 0, 8, you're over early, bow 1, 0, you're clear. over to that beach, try to tuck in and fly the drone over these. It's getting a little breezy, but we'll see. Getting a little, little early on the line there. Just slipped into uh, New Harbor entrance here. I'm gonna put the drone up so we can get it out there into this wind. It's pretty blustery. All right, I had a little lunch in New Harbor here. I made myself a turkey sandwich. Met some guy who is also in the real estate business and has a whaler, and he knows. Everything Boston Whaler on that site, so that's kind of cool. We have a lot to talk about. And I guess I'm going to keep trying to make my circumnavigation. I'm going to see what it's like out here with this wind now. The wind did change to the southwest. I'm going to see how the waves are. See if I can get around. Take some pictures of the sailboats in the meantime. All right. I couldn't fly the drone. Did I already say that? Yeah. Couldn't fly the drone because uh, the airport's just up over here on Block Island. I can fly it when I'm out by the North Light, but it's, it's no-fly zone, so bail. A little choppy out here, but nothing the old salt can't handle. A lot of sailboats. You're okay when we get around that corner. Woohoo! Cruising right through them all. I thought they had music on, but I think it's the thing humming. Ooh. 
little choppy out here. Let's get around this corner. Say goodbye to these sailboats. Thanks for the fun. I don't know if you can see those guys on the pikes on the shore. There's like a, what to do, another seven or so of them. But they came by me when I was having lunch at New Harbor. At the entrance to New Harbor, they must go all the way around the island. And those, they're those big fat bikes, fat tire bikes. Kind of cool. None of them were out of shape. But at least they didn't look it. All right, we're back at the uh, southwest edge of Black Island, or corner, if you want to say. Really cool back here, the bluffs and whatnot. Going with the wind now. Uh, it's over my right shoulder, so kind of with me. But much better wave action. down here near the steps. We'll go check it out. They call it the bluffs. So cool those steps coming down. That's not these steps though. These steps are over near the lighthouse. Over there. It must be like private. Pretty cool. I waited out, low tide just switched over about 15 minutes ago. So we're gonna be, the tide's gonna be coming in. So I'll have incoming tide with incoming waves. Should be not too bad, although it's pretty windy. Those are the block stairs right there. Parking up top, walk down. Fun little day trip. That's the Southeast Lighthouse that they moved back 100 yards, I think, from the edge. So it would have been falling in the water. It's a southeast side. Get much closer than this, I'll be surfing the waves. Right around the corner here is Old Harbor. I'll pull right in. That's the spring house up there, and behind it, I think the Atlantic house. Oh, good fish just jumped right here. Um, yeah, so we're on the east side now, and that's the famous Ballard's Beach. Might as well be on South Beach. Maybe not quite that. There's a close-up of Ballard's. The wind's in my face here. I hope it's not too bad on you. I'm trying to cover the mic. And then the National Hotel behind. The waves are breaking on the breakwater here. And see those white tips up there? That's the Sullivan House. 
A lot of people get married there. All right, this is Old Harbor in here. The National Hotel, Black Island Ferry. In the back of Ballard's. Go see if my friend Josh is here. My old friend. I haven't seen him in a while since I got rid of the gritty white. There he is. He saw me coming. He's putting his dog in his car and he's running away. I don't think he would have recognized me in this boat. Josh! He's like, yeah, I don't know about it. So Josh saw me, came and said hi. Got a nice little chat. All right, I'm gonna start for the rest of the eastern side of the island here and probably head back. This is the town beach, they call it because it's the town beach and you can bring your, if you're in New Harbor, I think you can just see those masts above that hill there. You can bring your dinghy over to another beach over there and just walk across and get to this cool beach. That's kind of cool. And then this beach is way down there all the way and at the end there it's called Mansion Beach. This is Mansion Beach. It's where you go where your cool kids are in the know. What a day, what a day. All right, this is the northeast side of the island, corner of the island. More bluff type stuff. Good surfing spot, I guess. The waves are pumping. And way back there's home. Just gonna bring you around the corner here and last. Yeah, there's a parking lot over here where you can drive out here and then walk out to the North Light. Kind of a fun day trip. Looks like people might be close to the seals. Not smart. Now there's someone sitting where the seals were. Humans. Ugh. One of these seals keeps coming out to me. Check me out. Came real close last time. This, this guy. This guy keeps coming out to check me out. Wow, big waves coming in here. Hey guys! This wave washes them off that fucking beach. That would be kind of funny. All right, I got on the other side of the rip here. It's kind of some nice smoother water. And I'm head towards Point Judith. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe.